All right, everyone. Um, right now I'm gonna here's the boat here. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test to see if it's uh watertight. Um, hopefully, <laughs> I know the duct tape job's not very good. Got a little water on the side. So this is gonna be the first time it's gonna be in water. So let's just get right down to it. What do you guys think? Uh, well. From what I can tell, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it doesn't look like there's any water entering the hall, which is a good thing. Um, as you can tell, she's she's pretty buoyant. Um, although she's yeah, she's pretty stable for a uh, popsicle stick boat. Now, uh, of course, you can obviously tell there's not very much. Um, really not very much material keeping the water out other than just the first compartment and stuff yeah, so she's holding up pretty well I don't see any leaks at least I don't feel any wetness anywhere um, even if it did flood a little bit it could be just oh oh looks like we got a little bit of leakage over here or maybe that's just from spill, so... Hey, wait, oh, I guess maybe we do, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to tell sometimes, so let's just push her down. Yeah, okay, we've got a bit of leak. Got three spots that's leaking in the center of the ship. Push her down a little more. Um, nothing in the bow. The bow looks pretty watertight. Uh, yeah, so it's just basically the rear sections that is, and like I'm pushing down maybe a good good chunk of the boat here. Like I've got her, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've got her pushed down one third or three a quarter of the way, and yeah, everything at the back is like basically literally just filling up. Looks like I submerged the stern a little. Oh well. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> I pushed it down a little too far, so I got water in the stern of the boat. That water's cold, so anyway, let, let's see what we've got. What's the point of a watertight compartment if you don't test them, right? So anyway, yeah. Uh, it's okay, because this is all going to dry, and I mean, the cardboard can be replaced, so it's no big deal, really. It seems that I did a pretty good job on that watertight compartment because it's not filling up. It, it's not like there, it, this is completely dry in here. All this is dry, where the rest of the boat is completely flooded now. Something like that. I mean, she's. If I had this out on a lake, I mean, the whole thing would pretty much be uh, submerged, but just this section would still be. Anyway. So that's that, I guess. Um, yeah. So the two bow sections are fairly water resistant, which is everything in the green section is pretty good. Um, since this cardboard wasn't really in for that long, it's not going to harm it too much, but it will be done up. So we got a few leaks uh, that can be fixed. Um, once I get the um, the solid chemical in. Other than that, you know, she she sits fairly well. She, I think the water line's what up to. Not sure. Not sure. Well, it's probably going to end up like up to here, where the actual water line is going to end up somewhere at some point. Maybe up to around here, just below that, where the once I get all the hardware into it. Oh, once it gets all the hardware in and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, she's gonna be able to capsize a little bit. Of course. Right now she's sitting pretty stable in the water, which is good. This is what we want. Now, I'll tip her upside down and let the water drain out. Anyway folks, uh, you can see we got the rear of the boat. 
So do popsicle stick boats float? <laughs> well, if you build them correctly, they can float like anything else. I will probably, if I find some pictures of my older projects somewhere, I might show them to you guys. Anyway, that's it for today. I thought I'd show you that and uh, do a little buoyancy test to see what we got. And, um, still got a ways to go to water co to compress some water into it. But once we get the water compressed into it, then it's going to be good. And after that, uh, we'll get the hardware on, get the decking on, you know, and then she'll actually look like something other than just a duct tape haul with some green paint. Anyway, folks, I'll talk to you later. Bye.